Hey guys, and welcome back to Story of Seasons. So, it is winter the 6th, and basically as soon as you wake up, it just starts the wedding cutscene. So, we're just gonna jump right in and do the wedding ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming today. The wedding of Nadia and Kita shall now commence. First, will the bride and groom please step forward? Nadia's hair looks weird. It makes him look like an old man. <laughs> From behind. Oh my gosh, I still have the mask on. I did not realize that that was going to be a thing. Also, this is like the slowest wedding procession I've ever seen. Nadi, do you vow to take Kita as your one and only wife to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, forever side by side as you walk down the path of life? I do. Kita, do you vow to take Nadi as your one and only husband to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, forever side by side as you walk down the path of life? Yeah. You may now kiss the bride. I don't know if he can reach me with that mask on. Oh no, if I don't hurry up, the ceremony will end. Why won't you ring, you silly bell? Desi, calm down, calm down. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Does anybody have any yummy snacks? Eating yummy snacks can help anybody calm down. If we did that, the ceremony would end before we're finished. Shh, quiet everyone. We mustn't make such a big fuss. What on earth are all of you doing? Desi, I'll help you. Let's all try ringing the bell of blessings one more time. Together. But, but it doesn't want to ring. Ah! Enough. I can't sit here and watch you nincompoops anymore. You were the one who said you wanted to do something to celebrate Kita's wedding, so no more crybaby whining. I'll help you ring it, so let's do it together and get it over with. Come here. Okay, I'll try. Come on, let's all ring the bell of blessings for Kita. I mean, you could have just actually, like, rung the bell with your hands. Odd, oh, where's that sound of a bell coming from? Perhaps even the mythological goddess of spring is joining us in the celebration. Together with the chiming of the bell and blessings, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Everyone, please give our newlyweds a round of applause as they take their first steps together on their path of their new life. Congrats to both of you. Naughty, I'm glad you found someone awesome to be with. You two make a great couple. Yeah, you wanted my ass, Rieger. Congrats, Naughty, but did you really have to get hitched? I thought at least you would always keep me company here in the Bachelor Club. Shut up, Fritz. Congratulations, I'm sure you will be able to build a warming, loving family, Kita. I wish the best to you both. Congratulations, the flowers used in the ceremony are a present from me. I hope you liked them. I love how, like, my top wedding guests are all the other bachelors. <laughs> Having all these people here just to make a big fuss over our union is kind of embarrassing, but it's a sort of good embarrassing. And you really do look beautiful in that outfit. I love you, babe. Being married to you makes me happier than I've ever imagined. Time to make the babies. Oh well. Nadi's chilling with, uh, was that Miko from Pocahontas? Is that the raccoon's name? Wow. So basically, when you get married, your life is over because the credits happen. I can verify that that's true in real life. As what happens when you get married. Life is over. I mean, not that I, that, not that I don't appreciate everybody working on this game, but can I skip, can I, can I, I can't skip the credits. Okay, well, the credits are over, so now we get this scene. Oh, I'm beat. I was so nervous and uptight all day that my shoulders are not. You, on the other hand, look totally fine, babe. 
Oh yeah, almost forgot, babe. Hold out your hand. I know it's late, but I wanted to give you our wedding ring. I didn't have a chance to give it to you earlier. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge! Now we're husband and wife, and in it for life. Babe, it, uh, feels weird to keep referring to each other like we did when we were dating. Since we're starting a new life, it's a good time to rethink our pet names for each other, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Nah. Right, babe is A-OK. -okay. At least they give you the option to change if you want. Before we start our new life together tomorrow, I'd feel good about deciding on some of our responsibilities first. Probably should have, like, discussed that before we got married, but okay. I know you keep yourself pretty busy taking care of your farm, so I think it'd be easiest if I took on the household chores. No? So then how do you want to handle it? Okay, how about this? We can take turns cooking. It'll keep things fresh. No, you can... you can do that. <laughs> Good. Looks like it's the real deal starting tomorrow, then. When you want to eat together, just examine the table. <laughs> During meal times. Let's do breakfast between 6 and 8, lunch between 12 and 14, and dinner between 19 and 21. We'll decide whether you or I will cook then. If we're too busy around meal times, we can just eat separately. Okay. There, done. Can't wait to get started, but tomorrow will come soon enough. But now I'm bush, so I'm going to bed. Okay. Think you should wait for me, but, I mean, do what you want. Okay. I hope that my animals don't hate me because, like, I lost a whole day. So, I hope they're not upset. This table is hideous and I want to replace it. I thought, what do you mean? Okay, yeah, okay, let's do this. He can do it. <laughs> he can prepare it. <laughs> this time. We'll just see this event. Alright, I'll make something then. Hang on a minute. All right, done. Let's dig in. Nowadays, I'm pretty well settled down here, but I used to travel a lot. I was no stranger to camping out in the wilderness. I'd use a little camping stove to cook simple things to eat. You know, just cooking something outdoors can make it taste pretty good. I kind of want to do it again sometime. Dude, if you're camping, you're doing it by yourself, man. I, I'm not a camper. Thanks, that hit the spot. You gonna start work first thing again? Don't overdo it. Take breaks when you need them. Be sure to take breaks from your 3DS, guys. Very important. Okay. Um. Okay, so, like, we're married now. I'm not gonna be putting on the ring, though, because I like my accessory combo. And, oh my gosh, it has a price, like I could sell it, that would be horrible. But I'm just gonna put it in the closet so that I don't accidentally sell it or something. So that's in there. Um, hey, what up? Ah, I love you too. Okay. So, because we did the most expensive plan, you get the pregnancy event a lot faster. It's like 15 days as opposed to 20 or 30 days. So, kind of nearing the end of winter, we can look forward to that. Um, but I think before this episode is over, I'm going to build some of the things that I want to build. So, we are going to... We're going to make the... Oh, shit. I need stone. Hold on. Okay, so I just had to basically use the hammer on some rocks to get some stone. So we got that. So we're going to be making the red teacup ride. And we don't, I mean, we don't really need this cutscene, but okay. And I wanted to build something else, but am I going to have to hammer more stones? Probably. Oh no, I have enough. Oh, okay, this just needs lumber. Okay, that's fine. Um, since I have plus uh, rabbit fur cloth and stuff now, I can also build the flying ships. So we're gonna build that as well. 
I think that's all we can build at this point. Um, because we can't build the blue or red merry-go-round until we have a camel. And I'm working on the black llama cloth. Uh, black llama wool cloth plus. I'm working on that. Um, my llama is now producing that. It's just taking a while. So, working on that and then we'll be able to do the free fall. But for right now, we are going to place these on the farm. Something else I can do is get rid of this sewing studio because um, there's nothing going on in there. Like, I moved all of my stuff to this uh, white teacup ride and it's so much faster. So there's really no point in me having the sewing studio anymore. So we can just say goodbye to that. And there's still some stuff going on in the winery. And I can't really remember like which makers these equate to. So we'll have to put them down first and then kind of see if there's any room to put them down. Holy crap. Okay, I guess I'll just put this here. Can I get any closer to the other one? Probably not. No, I don't think I can. Oh geez, where'd I have it? I didn't have it up any oh. Okay. So it basically has to be like here. Okay. I don't know if I have enough room for my flying ships. Is it because of that stupid tree? I don't know. Ah, I want to put down my flying ships. Hmm. Maybe I'll move the seed maker just for now. Let's get out of the way. I'm going to have to do a lot of like moving stuff around once I kind of decide how I want everything to look. But there we go. Put that there. Eh, whatever. Just for now. I'll have to fix it later. All right. Can I... Can I now put these somewhere? No. Even moving that didn't... <sighs> what if I also move my greenhouse? There's like nothing in this one right now anyway. If I move that down there, can I put my ships here now? As you can see, these makers do take up like a ton of space. But... I think that they're worth it just because of the time that you save. And like I said, eventually this whole area is gonna be the the makers and then I'll just have to kind of move stuff around. I don't really ever put my animals outside because I just find it kind of annoying to keep up with. So I could potentially take this all down if I needed to. Um, okay. So that's done. So we can go check those out. Okay, so here's the red Tika Bride. Make a shape. I'm assuming this is. Okay, so this is basically the pottery studio. So I can, I can actually get rid of this pottery studio because there's nothing in there right now. I got everything out of it. And then the flying ships is the winery, which I'm really excited about because I actually use the winery a lot and you can make decent money off of it, off of selling wine. It just takes forever, but this is going to cut that in half. So I can't put my winery away right now because there's still stuff in it. And if I did that, I would lose everything that's in it. So that one's going to have to wait, but we can definitely get rid of the pottery studio. So we have these rides going on right now. And once we get a camel, then we can work on getting the other two that I have. And eventually we'll be able to get the, uh, the Ferris wheel, which is the greenhouse, which is awesome. So we're getting there. Kita land is, you know, slowly becoming... A reality. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and the wedding and all that fun stuff. 
And if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to show your support for this series. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.